good deal. What you need, kid? Fine deal there. Well, see you next time you need something. First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. The world serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. Focused. Another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Kaveka.
alive! I'm Apollo. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Roy, what did I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can we this just... is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Try another story? It can't be any worse than the last one. Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. It's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers.
this. Uh-oh. They must have gotten here first. Atreus, follow. Locked. Find another entrance. Look here. Another map! Great! made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. Come <laughs> on. 
some stupid pots and draw them. No magical treasure and no whetstone. Keep your expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed. They caught you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. Stupid bird statue. And useful resources. The main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take food of what's them. Remember what I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. from a good feeling. I was ready for them this time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack.
Sure is a lot to remember. Whetstone. And only one room left. I know I shouldn't hope, but do you think we'll find it there? No. Back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Hmm. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving.
Why would his son betray him like that? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Assume nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. Yes. You, uh, didn't happen to find that whetstone, perchance? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In the reaver's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the Woodstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? <sighs> Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself.
So, what other stories have you got? There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief. And his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but... Right here. That's not right. Hey, we can dodge him. Well? Well, what? The brazier? If you must. Look here. Yes, sir! Kavegia. Nice shot! Crap like that again. What do you want? To thank you. These dead reavers drowned me many winters ago. And I've been itching to see them get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple. But I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos. Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well, we can't expect them all to know something useful. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. Story. One more. There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. He should say, sure, I'll look forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. I got it.
think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. Kavikia. came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistake, Spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or Mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching Jotunheim. Really? Why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. <laughs> 